Welcome one and all. We will discuss problem number 21. In this, they have stated like this. Discuss the continuity of the function and they have given us three functions, three subdivisions. Now, the first one is f of x is equal to sin x plus cos x. I have taken this sin x as g of x and cos x as h of x. Now, we'll know, we will discuss the continuity of the function g of x. Okay, now we know that sin x is defined on all real numbers. Okay, the function is defined on on r because for all radian for all radian measures we can find some values for theta sin theta. So each radian measure has been mapped with one real number. So we can state the function is defined on sin x function is defined on r not only sin x function cos function as well. Now we will calculate we will consider the continuity. So let us take a real number let k be a real number real number any real number. So we will know the functional value at k it will be sin k now we will calculate left hand limit okay so we will replace x as k minus h so limit x tends to k from left hand neighborhood of the function so as x tends to k h tends to 0 so limit h tends to 0 and in this function we will replace x as k minus h so sin k minus h now we will apply the identity sin a minus b sin a minus b is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b now we will apply this identity over this expression so we will get sin k cos h minus cos k sin h limit h tends to 0 now when we apply the limit sin k cos 0 minus cos k sin 0 so sin 0 value is 1 sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 so cos 0 value is 1 we will get sin k into 1 and cos cos k into sin 0 value is 0 so this term will vanish so we will get sin k so this is left hand limit for okay now we will calculate right hand limit so at the point k the right hand limit will be right hand neighborhood we will replace k x as k plus h here as k tends h x tends to k h tends to 0 now limit x tends to k plus approaching the function from right hand neighborhood so we will get limit x tends to k plus the function is g of x which is equal to sin limit h tends to 0 sin k plus h again we will apply sin a plus b identity limit h tends to 0 sin a plus b identity will be sin a sin k cos h plus cos a sin h so after substituting limit we will get sin k cos 0 is 1 plus cos k sin 0 value will be 0 so we will get sin k which is right hand limit so here left hand li limit exists and right hand limit exists and the existed limit is equal and this limit value is equal to the functional value so we can say the function is continuous g of x the function is continuous 
Now we will discuss the continuity of the function cos x. Now cos x, so we will check and we know this cos x function is defined for all real numbers because each radian measure has been mapped with one real number. Okay, so let k be any real number. Let k be any real number. Number. So we will check the continuity of the function at k. So functional value will be cos k. Now we will check from left hand above. We will calculate the left hand limit. So let us take x as k minus h. So as k tends to, as x tends to k, h tends to 0. So we will get limit x tends to k minus function is h of x limit x tends to k minus ok we will have h tends to 0 and here we will replace x as k minus h now we will apply cos a minus b identity cos a minus b identity cos a cos b then plus sin a sin b this is an identity for cos a minus b so we will apply that identity over this expression so we will get cos k cos h minus sorry plus sin k sin h now we will apply the limit so we will get cos k cos 0 sin k sin 0 sin 0 value is 0 so this term will vanish so we will have cos 0 value is 1 so we will have cos k so this is left hand limit now we will calculate right hand limit in right hand neighborhood of k we have x is equal to k plus h so limit extends to k from right hand neighborhood of the function h of x so limit here again as k tends to as x tends to k h tends to 0 so limit h tends to 0 and cos k plus h now we will apply cos a plus b identity over this so limit h tends to 0 cos a cos h cos k cos h minus sin k sin h this is an identity then we will apply the limit so we will have cos k cos 0 minus sin k sin 0 so sin 0 value is 0 so this term will vanish and cos 0 value is 1 so we will have cos h into 1 sorry cos k which is equal to cos k now this is right hand limit now left hand limit exists and right hand limit exists and the existed limit existed limits are equal and this limit value is equal to the functional value so we can say the function is limit x tends to k h of x is equal to h of k so we can say the function is continuous now sin x function and cos x function are continuous so it implies sum of two continuous functions will be continuous sin x plus cos x continuous functions similarly sin x minus cos x functions continuous and product of two continuous functions will be continuous so with this we have completed problem number 21 so here itself we have discussed all the three subdivisions uh, we have applied 
the properties when two functions are continuous then their sum and their difference and their product will be continuous thank you